You're probably wondering why are RAM and storage prices so high right now? Let me break it down in an easy to understand explanation. So first, let's talk about RAM. RAM sticks are not entirely manufactured by the seller that you buy from. Most of the time, the seller actually buys the individual RAM chips from someone else, puts it onto the little stick that you see, slaps their branding on it, and then they sell it to you. And when those sellers are buying the RAM chips individually, there's only three companies in the world that they can actually buy them from. Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron. But not so much with Micron anymore, actually. Micron quite literally said, peace, I'm out. If you haven't heard, Micron decided to stop selling RAM to the consumer market. So the companies that you buy your RAM sticks from, yeah, Micron is not selling them those little chips. But they didn't stop making memory chips. They're still gonna make them, but they're only gonna sell them to data centers, cloud companies, and AI companies. And if you couldn't tell, that's not us. Micron used to also make their own RAM sticks. It went by the name Crucial, which is a name you've probably heard before. Well, you're not gonna be able to buy it anymore, unfortunately. But that's not the primary reason for the RAM price change. The other two companies, Samsung and SK Hynix, are also prioritizing selling to AI companies and data centers, instead of selling to consumer grade RAM kit manufacturers, being the RAM sticks we buy. So for that reason, they bump up the price of the chips that we need. So let's bring it to a close. Let's summarize it. RAM kit brands, for example, Corsair, Team Group, they don't make the chips. They instead buy them from one of the three global DRAM suppliers, one of which is Micron, who is no longer part of that group of three. They're only going to sell to AI and data centers. The other two companies are still selling to consumer RAM kits, but they're prioritizing selling to the AI and data centers, meaning they're going to charge a higher price to those companies that make the RAM kits for us. The RAM kit manufacturers have to buy those chips still, install them onto the RAM kits, then they pass down that extra cost they paid for those chips onto us. So yeah, it's not great, but in time it will pass. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below. Peace out.